Let's get started with GitHub Copilot and Visual Studio 2022. This is an amazing experience that I want to share with you. You just need Visual Studio, the latest version. You can get this from visualstudio.microsoft.com and you also need a GitHub account. All of the links, all of the necessary information, you can find in the main Visual Studio page. And I will also advise that you have general knowledge of how to work, move around, and do stuff inside Visual Studio. Let's start using GitHub Copilot and Copilot Chat in Visual Studio. The installation process in Visual Studio 2022, it's super, super easy. So let's take a look. In Visual Studio, let's go to Extension Menu and Manage Extension. And here, in the Extension Manager, we are going to search for GitHub Copilot. I'm searching for Copilot, and I have here Copilot and Copilot Chat. This is the two that we are going to install now. Let's go for install, and we are going to see that, hey, the installation process is going to be triggered when we close Visual Studio. Let's do the same with Copilot Chat. Now we can close Visual Studio, and let's see how the installation starts. The extension installer is going to ask us to install both of them, so let's click Modify and wait a couple of seconds. The installation is complete now, so let's start again Visual Studio. And Copilot is already here. If we go to Extension and Extension and Manage Extension, we are going to see in the Installed tab that we have both GitHub Copilot and Copilot Chat installed in our machine. We can be ready to work now. Now that we have Visual Studio 2022 and GitHub Copilot, let's take a look how it works inside the ID. The whole idea is that as you type code, Copilot is going to analyze your code and it's going to suggest you, make a lot of suggestions. Every time that you have a suggestion, you can get and accept the suggestion pressing the Tab key. This is super important. Let's take a look at the code right now. I have a C Sharp class here. I have some very simple variable for first name John. And when I go to the next line, we can see here in gray that we have a suggestion about A. You have the first name, you may want a last name. In this case, it's going to be though. I am going to say yes. Let's press the Tab key and I have my suggestion here. This is important because it's not only going to suggest me new code, I can even learn new coding patterns and more while I am using Copilot. So let's take a look at the next suggestion. Some age, I like it. I will press Tab and accept this again. As you see, it's going to analyze my code, it's going to detect what I am going to do. Right now I'm writing very simple code about a sample user and it's going to suggest me code for this. When you start to work with Copilot, you are going to see that you have tons of suggestions for your code to solve problems, to complete code, to work in a lot of different scenarios. But there is a cool feature here. You can have multiple suggestions for a specific scenario. In order to do this, you can use the keys Alt and Dot or Comma to move forward and backward between the suggestions. We have a class here, a simple class. This is a C-sharp class with two variables, first name, last name, and a simple function to get the full name. Of course, this is a simple solution that we can have here with just concatenate the string, but let's see what are the Copilot suggestions here. So I'm going to go inside the, the function and we'll see here that, hey, Copilot suggests to do a string interpolation here with first name, space, and last name. If I go Alt and Dot, I will see a different suggestion now. I have a scenario where I am concatenating the strings here, where I'm going to do first name plus space plus last name. Let's see if we have a third one. We know, go back to the first one. This is a simple scenario, but hey, this is a cool way to see the options that we have here for different suggestions. Copilot is going to be with you all the time making suggestions while you are coding. But how about when you want to ask a specific scenario, a specific question, a specific task to be solved with Copilot. There are several ways that we can do this. One of the most popular one is to generate suggestions using comments. Let's take a look how this works. So we have here a C-sharp class. This class has a couple of variables, string variables, first name and last name. We also have an age. And I want to have right now a function to, OK, I know the age of a user, but what year? When he was born? So let's create a function for this. So let's do something like function to get the year of birth from the age. As you can see also, Copilot is helping me suggest here, so I am pressing Tab Tab to do this. When I am here, we are going to see that the suggestions go here to literally create a function that is going to have as an input the age as an integer, and then it's going to return a little math here to say, hey, today minus the age, this is probably the year of born of the user. Let's press Tab and accept this. I have my function here working with comments for get suggestions. Copilot is here to help, and you can invoke Copilot at any time inside the ID. 
He's going to make suggestion, you're going to see different suggestion, but at any time that you need copilot, you can invoke copilot with the keys alt and forward slash, the slash that we use in URLs and more. Let's take a look how this experience works. So inside the IDE, I am going to, I have a very simple piece of code here in C Sharp. I am going to press Alt slash and I see here the Copilot window. This is the embedded Copilot window in Visual Studio. And I can ask here something like, in a sample, to describe the variables and functions in this code. Once I do this, Copilot will work and we start to analyze my code and give me a super amazing insight of what is happening here. We have three variables here. First name, last name, and age. Okay, this is right, it makes sense. And we also have two functions here to get the year of birth of based on an age and also to get the full name using the first name and last name. This is how you can invoke Copilot to do a lot of amazing things at any time inside the IDE. We can invoke Copilot to help us code better, suggestions, and more. But we also have the chance to use slash commands, which are super useful and very specific for different scenarios. So I am going to invoke here Copilot with Alt slash, and then if I press a slash again, I will see here a set of commands. Doc to add documentation, explain to explain the code, fix, generate, help, and more. Self-describing, super useful, and also is going to give you kind of superpowers if you want to code here. Like an example, I am not a fan of writing documentation, but I can do here slash doc in this function, and it will automatically generate the necessary attributes and documentation for this function. So I'm going to accept the changes, and we see here the year of birth that I have a summary of the function, the parent description, and also what is returning this. This is super, super useful. One of the commands that we have available as a slash command in Copilot is the optimize code command, which is amazing because it's going to analyze a piece of code, can be a very big function, a very small piece of code, it's going to analyze code and it's going to propose maybe a cleaner version or a different way to solve the program. We are going to take a look right now how it works. We have here a C sharp function that its name, get full name, two parameters, first name and last name. And the whole idea here is to concatenate the parameters and propose a full name for the user. We see here that the code is fine, it's working, but probably we can do more here. So let's select this code, let's Alt slash to invoke Copilot, and then do optimize this code. Let's take a look at the output for this one. It's really, really straightforward and amazing what it's doing here. Basically, it said the selected code can be optimized by removing a lot of unnecessary code. You can return this, string interpolation, but first name and last name. Let's go with this solution. Let's do a preview. It's going to show here the full set of changes that we have. And once we accept this, we have the first code at the beginning, and I'm going to delete the not used code here. Code optimization really in two clicks. I love it. When you work in complex solutions or very big pieces of code, you're probably working with different files, not only a single file. And you can, we can use Copilot and we can use the hashtag to reference external files and to ask questions and even interact with the between the two files. Let's take a look. We are working here in the main file. We also have here in our solution, we have a utils files that has a couple of functions internally. So I have I get year of birth, get full name, get full name from email. Hey, I want to know more about that. So I can go here, start Copilot, and I am going to reference the file utils. I am going to know more about what is the get full name from email function do. And I can start to take a look now and see that, hey, this get full name from email in the util class extracts the first name and last name from the email address and then return the full name, calling internally the full get full name function. This is literally what I am looking right now, which is kind of an amazing way to see what is happening in other files from my current file. Copilot is here to help you in Visual Studio 2022, but you can also enable or disable Copilot depending on your needs. If we go to our IDE, we are going to see options in the editor, and you have the option to enable Copilot globally, only for C Sharp, or even only for this solution. So if you have multiple solutions, different type of languages and multiple files, you can do a lot of stuff here. So let's disable Copilot here and we see how the icon changes. Right now there is no more Copilot for me and I can start to work. If I want to enable this again, just go back again here. I will enable Copilot globally and that's it. Copilot is back online to help me work with while I am coding. And if you want to have context-aware AI support here, we can also use Copilot chat. 
we need to go to Visual Studio and go to Build, and then we are going to see here GitHub Copilot Chat. You can also have a shortcut here to enable. Once you click here and enable, we are going to have a new panel, usually on your right of your IDE, we are going to see different options here. Let's take a look at a new one, and there are a couple of things that we can do with Copilot Chat. We can ask for code explanations, code help, code refinement. We can even do some unit testing, profiling, and debugging here. I have a little sample to show here. We have five lines of code, which basically create an array of integer numbers and then fill our array with random numbers. This is kind of cool and it works, but I want to know more. I want to know an example, Copilot Chat. I am going to ask Copilot Chat to explain me the difference between arrays and list, which is always super useful to know when you are coding. So I'm going to enable Copilot Chat. I have it here and I'm going to ask the question, what's the difference between a list and an array? So Copilot Chat is basically the explain, explaining everything that I need to know here about the size of an array, which is the difference between arrays and lists, performance, functionality, and it's also giving me some examples in C Sharp about how we can use arrays and how we can use lists. This is an amazing, and I can even do more. I can ask Copilot to convert my code to use lists instead of arrays. This is interesting. It's not going to, it doesn't know what is my code right now. So I'm going to say that convert the code in my file to use list. And here I have my code that I can use. I can change it to use a list here of integers instead of an array. And there we have the new code. Interesting. We use Copilot here to reference the current file and more to see how we are working. This is really amazing. And we can use Copilot chat to ask for descriptions or get more insights of an open file or of an external file without reading all the code. Let's take a look at this. In Copilot, I am going to ask and I'm going to say describe the file, and then using the hashtags, I'm going to select the file. I have several files here, and I have two program CS files, and I want to know more about the Ubuntu one. I want to see what the Ubuntu one is doing, so I'm going to select again the program Ubuntu, and I'm going to ask for describe the file. And hey, this is amazing. After a couple of seconds, I have the full description of the file. I know that it creates an instance of the custom chat completion service. Then we have some URL. It's using a large language model Llama for this. It uses semantic kernel and build the builder. It's analyzed and gives me all the piece of code. And it even understands that this code is wrapped in a copyright notice here under the MIT license. And it's also giving me insights here. This is a super useful way to know more about the file without the need to open the file and dig into the code. And hey, like when we are coding and we have the slash commands, we also have a slash command inside the Copilot chat. But there are a few new ones here that we can probably take, want to take a look. Once we are here in the Copilot chat, we can press the forward slash, and then we are going to have access to the all of the set of slash that we have here. And you can see here a new one, like ask Visual Studio, ask VS, where we can do general question related to Visual Studio. This is an amazing one. And there are others that we already seen or you already know, like documentation, experimental conversation. This is a new one here. Explain, fig, generate, and more. In Copilot chat, we can use the slash command explain to explain a piece of code, a file, or more. Inside Copilot chat, I am going to start the command. I'm going to do explain, and let's explain this chat completion service file. After a couple of seconds, we see that GitHub Copilot analyzed the file and it's going to break down the key parts of the file for me, like the properties and more. And it works in a lot of places. What about if I want to know more about what is a project file doing? Let's ask for explain for a project file. We can see here that analyze the C-sharp project file and start to give us information about the file here. We can see the project SDKs. What is the target framework of this project? Hey, we are working with Net8, the root namespace, and more. Explain is an amazing way to explain pieces of code, files, or more when you are working with GitHub Copilot chat. And we have a super powerful slash command in Visual Studio 2022 and GitHub Copilot chat, which is the ask BS, the ask Visual Studio. We can use this command to ask questions on how we can do, how we can do things and interact in Visual Studio. I select a piece of code and now I'm going to ask GitHub Copilot chat, how can I refactor this code? I am going to select the file here, but I also going to select the file with the lines 2532, that's the one that I have. And I'm going to ask to refactor this to a new function. 
Copilot is going to refactor the full code and it's going to show me how I can change the code. I can generate here a function to generate the chat request and also how I can use this new code here. And I can ask Visual Studio related questions. Like an example, how about it if I want to change to a dark theme? I am working in a live theme right now. Let's switch to a, uh, to a dark theme. Copilot is syncing and after a couple of seconds, I am going to have the step-by-step -step necessary to change my IDE to a dark theme. And there it is. I can use the AskBAs command to do amazing things when I'm working with GitHub Copilot chat. The full experience of using GitHub Copilot in Visual Studio 2022 is amazing. I really, really like it. If you want to learn more, if you want to go deep in any of the topics that are available here, please take a look at these resources.